In this video, we're going to take a look at downloading and installing the limited version of Desktop Server. We're here at serverpress.com, and at the top is the downloads link. And right here, we can buy the premium version or download the installer for the limited version. You can get it for Windows or Mac. And if one of the download sites is slow, you can use the other one. They serve the same file. Uh, I've already downloaded both of them, actually. DSL is for limited. DSP is for premium. We're going to install the limited one right now. And then later we'll look at upgrading to the premium version. On either Mac or Windows, simply double-click the zip, and it unpacks. And then here we have an installer. It would be an .exe file in Windows. So let's double-click that. It's going to need administrator privileges. So we'll hit Continue, and then put in our own password. In Windows, I don't think it needs this. There. Then we have a license agreement. And we can install the limited edition. If this were the premium one, we could upgrade. And if we had already installed, we could use this tool to uninstall. There. Now it says you can start desktop server from your applications XAMPP folder. Click Finish to close the installer. So now I'm going to bring up my applications. And there's an XAMPP control icon, but right there is desktop server. So all I have to do is double click it. And the first time you do it, it'll ask to make sure you really want to do this. Now at this point, you can choose to give this application system privileges or not. I generally prefer to. If you don't, then it will only be able to ever write to your own folder. I recommend you give it system privileges. So we'll hit next and it will ask us for our password. So it just restarted itself, but now it has system privileges. And now we can start Apache and MySQL. If we said no, then this whole thing wouldn't work. So I don't recommend that. We have the option to enable trace and debug, but we're not going to do that right now. We'll take a look at that in another video. So now I hit next, and it's done. Now we have a web server running on our local machine. I don't have any websites set up, so I can't show it to you right now. But Apache, PHP, and MySQL are currently running on my machine right now. From this window, I can choose to stop it or create a new one. If I had any at all, I would be able to remove, copy, or move. We'll create a new development website in the next video.